morning students today's class we will see about hyper means diabetes hyper means excessive emesis means vomiting gravidara means pregnancy so it means excessive vomiting in pregnancy so nausea and vomiting of moderate intensity are especially common until 13 to 16th week that cg otherwise human chorionic neurotrophin hormone occurs when vomiting becomes intractable in early pregnancy and causes fluid electrolyte imbalance and nutritional deficiency when and in this condition women need to be need to be hospitalized it is a severe type of vomiting of pregnancy which has got deleterious effect on health of the patient and or incapacitates her day to day activities the etiology or causes include it limited to the first trimester more common in the first pregnancy tendency to recur again in the subsequent pregnancies and family history shows mother and sisters also suffer from the same manifestation and it is more prevalent in hereditary form mold and multiple pregnancy because the level of hcg is high in these two cases and common in unplanned pregnancies risk factors age below 75 17 years and over 35 years of age primary gravida multiple pregnancy underweight and obesity psychological factors this unwanted pregnancy marital problems and history of hyperemesis in the previous pregnancies and trophoblastic disorder diseases theories behind the hyperemesis gravida first theory is hormonal because of high hcg hydrated it occur in the case of hydrated form mold and multiple pregnancies and high estrogen high progesterone and relaxation of cardiac sphincter of the stomach other hormones involved in vomiting include thyroxine prolactin leptin adrenocorticotisol hormones second there is psychogenic it is probably aggravated nausea once it begins to trigger the neurogenic elements third is dietary deficiency probably due to low carbohydrate reserve it happens after a night without food because it occurs commonly in the early in the morning deficiency of vitamin b1 b6 and protein may affect the rather than the cause the fourth reason is allergic or immunological basis and fifth one is decreased gastric motility is found to cause nausea and the clinical cause or the signs and symptoms in the early clinical cause it include vomiting throughout the day normal day to day activities are disturbed no evidence of dehydration and starvation late signs include evidence of dehydration and starvation the symptoms include excessive vomiting it is returning in the day and night epigastric pain constipation thyroidism spitting fatigue anorexia complications will appear if it is not treated signs include signs of dehydration ketosis tricotted tongue sunken eyes acetone smell in the breath tachycardia postural hypotension rise in temperature jaundice in later stage vaginal examination usd to confirm the pregnancy investigation first one is urine analysis quantity the, it may be to see whether there is any oliguria and dark color because of the due to the high concentration and high specific gravity with acid reaction presence of acetone occasional presence of protein and bile pigment diminished or even absence of chloride biochemical and circulatory changes like serum electrolytes especially sodium potassium and chloride has to be done ophthalmoscopic examination it required if the patient is severe, seriously ill retinal hemorrhage and detachment of retina may is are the most unfavorable signs of hyperemesis gravidara the fourth is ecg when there is abnormal serum potassium level we have to check for the ecg if there is any to find out if there is any abnormalities diagnosis first we have to confirm the pregnancy then associated cause of vomiting are excluded like gynecological or medical or surgical causes usg has to be done to confirm pregnancy whether it is hereditary form mold or multiple pregnancy and complications the neurological complication in vernix and cephalopathy due to thiamine deficiency ponytain myelo means myelinolysis peripheral neuritis psychosis ophthalmic especially retinal hemorrhage convulsions and coma other complications like stress ulcers in the stomach esophageal tears and jaundice due to liver damage prevention the only prevention is to import effective management to correct simple omitting of pregnancy 
the management principles include the control vomiting, correct fluid and electrolyte imbalance, correct metabolic disturbance to prevent serious complications of severe vomiting. Hospitalization, admit the patient, open IV line and correct fluid, send for relevant investigations, maintain an intake output chart, monitor urine output, catheterize the to, check, to monitor the correct urine output, we have to catheterize the patient, monitor the vital signs, test the urine periodically for ketone bodies. Fluids, oral full fluids are withheld for at least 24 hours after cessation of vomiting. During this period, fluid is given to IV trip method. The amount of fluid infused in 24 hours, calculated like total amount of fluid approximately 3 liters, of which half is 5% dextrose and half is ringer solution. Extra amount of 5% dextrose equal to the amount of vomitus and urine in 24 hours is to be added. These measures help to correct dehydration, electrolyte imbalance and ketoacidosis. Ex internal nutrition through nasogastric tube may also be given. Drugs like antiemetic promethacin, trifluoropromycin, metaclopramide, hydrocortisone, pregnisolone orally and especially we have to check on nutrition support like vitamin B1, vitamin B6, B12 and vitamin C. Nursing care, sympathetic but firm handling of the patient, daily monitoring of the patient, look for signs of improvement in the patient like substance of vomiting, feeling hungry, better look, disappearance of acetone from the breath and urine, normal pulse and blood pressure, normal urine output. Monitor for lab result for dehydration, monitor the fetal heart rate, fetal activity and growth, encourage patient to sit in upright position after meal, encourage small and frequent meals, liquid should, not be take, liquid, liquid should be taken between meals to avoid distending the stomach and triggering the vomiting. Obstetric care, no therapeutic abortion is indicated if the patients improve on therapy. Therapeutic abortion is seldom indicated on pregnancy associated with renal or neurological complications. Dietary management, before IV fluid is given, or sm oral small and frequent dry meals without fat are given. First try carbohydrate like biscuit, bread and toast. Gingery helpful, gradually full diet is restored. Thank you. Thank you for listening.